Now I'm pretty sure all of you have heard by now the new bombshell that was dropped at E3 today. And that being the new GT2 RS. 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. This is not only the most aggressive expression of Porsche's legendary design, it features the most powerful road going 911 engine ever made. Now, with that being said, they're saying it's the most powerful 911 yet, with over 600 plus horsepower, and some are even claiming around 700. And that's, that's crazy numbers for a Porsche, 911 being exact. And in plus not too long ago, they just announced the new GT3 with a manual transmission and a 500 ho horsepower, four liter flat six. And our already magazines out there are already saying it's the best 911 yet blown away the 911R and the past gen GT3 in handling wise, looks, performance, all of the above. So with this new bombshell that just came out just today, it raises a lot of questions. Now, they're saying this new car has about 600 to 700 horsepower and it's gonna be the most powerful 911 yet. Now, that being said, is the most powerful of a car the best one? Could be and expect this car to have the same handling upgrades as the GT3 with the Cup 2s. Now with all these foreign manufacturers out there, they always make these special edition cars and then one year later the next big one comes out. So in my opinion, it's not, it's not the best one and I think the most obtainable one and with good performance would, would be the best of all cars. Now, it's the same idea goes for like Lamborghini. Now is a Centenario the best Lamborghini? my opinion, no. I'd say maybe the Huracan is the most easiest to obtain and the best value performance out of them. Now, people may differ and argue with that. People may go for the most expensive ones just to go, I, I can. But I, I think having the most powerful of something or the most expensive of something doesn't make it the best one. Now, in my opinion, I think the GT3 will always be the best one. It's an all-around good performer car. Now, it does good track times, you can drive it around, and it's just an overall good package. And that being said, it's still a lot of money. And paying 140 grand for that, just imagine how much this new GT2 RS is gonna be. Yeah, you will get that prestige of going to a car show going, yeah, I got the new GT2 RS, yeah, one of 50. Yeah, dude. And then you have your GT3 guys around there just shaking their head. Now, if, in your opinion, the most powerful of a car is the best one, then cool. And I'd love to know what, what all of you guys think in the comments below. In my opinion, I think the GT3 will always be the best one, just because of the good package it is. And it looks good, it's a fast car, it's not too much, and it's not overdone. This new car has insane aerodynamics all over, full-on roll cage. And yeah, it looks nice, it looks fast too. But if it isn't worth it, and having a $400,000 car, does that make it the best one? And with that kind of money, can't you just make a GT3 that fast, make it better? So I'd love to hear what all of you guys have to say about it. So please like and subscribe if you like this video, and comment below what you think. Thank you.